I don't see the moon in the sky, so I'm hoping it's not like the middle of the night and maybe the girl and her drift lunar over here. There's gotta be a way to check the actual time. Like there's a moon symbol at the top right. But is there anything? Oh, I didn't realize I could like zoom in so effectively actually. Is there like a thing that gives me like a time time? Not just like a general idea? Ah, oh, there's the moon in the distance. Oh, wait. I think it's about to be morning. I think the sun is about to rise. All right, well. Can fast travel here, apparently. What is this? Enjoy sharpshooting fun for prizes. Oh, yeah. Did we ever do that minigame? There's no specific hours, only general time of day. I hate that. I hate that a lot. Line up lots of targets, pop a lot per ball, practice, 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 and be best of all. If you manage to break 10k points, you'll be in for a real treat. What do you say, sport? Up for a challenge? Sure. Let's give it a go. Oh my goodness. They're massive and everywhere. There's more of them. Why does this sound like Kingdom Hearts 1 minigame music? I feel like I'm in Agrabah. Not doing a great job right now. Gotta be honest. The yellow ones have gotta be worth more, right? Probably comboing them that gives the most points. I got plus 10 seconds, I think. Is this what shiny Drifloon looks like? Ooh, baby. Good one. Nice. Okay, yeah, if you take your time, you can actually, like, I was panicking at first, and I was like, throw, 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 but if you actually take just a little bit of time, you can set up some big combos. How is he controlling these balloons? Nailed it. Ariel. How many points did, did he tell me to get a million points? Oh, I don't like the way the music is going up right now. That went through its head. All right, I almost got 200k. Your score was almost 200,000. Isn't that something? You've set yourself a record. Well done. I've got prizes lined up to give out depending on how well you do. Based on your score, here's a prize. Five sticky globs. A ball of some kind of sticky substance hitting a Pokemon with one may stun it, creating an opening. Lame. You broke the 10k, so you get a real prize. Oh, was 10k the... That's what I was aiming for? I blew that out of the water. Every minigame is Murder Drift Loon. I mean, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yo, 15 great balls and a nugget. All right, that's Pog. Don't think you gotta stop here. Keep aiming higher, kid. Play on and get better and better all the time. Better you do, the better the prizes. All right, well, that went well, I'd say. All things considered. I got a little turned around. We gotta go this way. Sticky globs are the best item in the game. Really? All right, everyone in chat says these are the most busted items, so they must be really good. There's still one more wisp I need to find in this general area too, but again, I'm not really worried about making sure we hunt down all the wisps until we like unlock every area in the game because there's no way we can get them all until every area is unlocked anyway. What other requests do I have? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Chat told me the friendship lady was over this away. Oh, yeah, 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 I think she's right down here. 
I've never played this game, so for balance, I'm gonna say that the sticky globs are actually kind of mid. Thanks, Shroom, for bringing balance to chat. How about it? Ready to show me how friendly you are with those Pokemon of yours? How's my Eevee feeling? Oh, you're nearly there with this one. I can tell it's opening its heart up to you now. Don't give up. I'd love to see proof you're the type who could truly befriend Pokemon. Okay, so Eevee's getting close. Good sign. What about Benary? Also nearly there with Benary. Okay, so hopefully we're close on both of them to friendship evolutions. Please, oh please. Now what other requests do I still have to do? Yeah, prelude beach in the evening, whatever. Speak with Clarissa to learn more about her request. Something about Zubat's eyes. All right, this chick is a freak. Zubat doesn't have eyes. Did you get all the spear tomb soul things? Yeah, that's what I was just talking about, Shroom. There are like over a hundred of them and we have like, I don't know, 10 of them or so. There are so many present in each area of the game. So until I unlock like every area in the game, I can't get all of them anyway. Great timing on your question. Yeah, exactly. To my understanding, because there are some in like every area in the game is how the game has framed it. I can't get them all until I unlock every area in the game anyway. Hello. Hi, Clarissa of the Security Corps. That's me. Thanks so much for taking all my requests. I need you to catch a Zubat and show it to me so I can take a look at its eyes. Odd request, I know, but I have good reason for it. Zubat never seemed to have trouble flying around in pitch darkness. That means their night vision must be top-notch if I could learn how to see in the dark like them. Night shifts on guard duty would be a breeze. This chick is going to start, like, screaming echolocation. It's going to be horrible. I'm counting on your help. Catch a Zubat and come show it to me, would you? Yeah, I've already got a Zubat, so, like, I do have a Zubat to show you. I only have a Zubat. I thought I had more than that. Well, one is all it takes. I'll just take a look at those peepers, if you please, Zubat. Dude, this thing ain't got no eyes, chick. Huh? Where are the eyes on this little guy? Don't tell me it doesn't even have eyes. But then that means Zubat flies around while being completely blind. Yeah, they don't get eyes until they evolve. Zubat must have some other kind of secret sense if it doesn't even need eyes. Huh, that's amazing and all, but it hardly helps me. What am I gonna do about my nighttime shifts on guard duty? Get a partner, Zubat? Ah, oh, that's a good idea. No need for me to go it alone after all. A little help would be great. That's that then. I'll get out there and find a Zubat that can help me as my partner. Thanks for the great advice. You can just have this one if you want. Like, I don't really need it. Thanks for the auxiliary power. All right, that was easy. Catch a Geodude to give to Radisa. Done. Where are you? You're like right in front of me. Perfect. Hi. Are you here to give me a Geodude? I sure am. There you go. Oh my, would you look at that? It really does look like a rock, and it seems to be the ideal weight, too. It's simply perfect. Thank you, young man. With this Geodude's help, I'll make some scrumptious pickles. Dude. 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 Give Zubat the googly eyes from the SpongeBob movie? Now we're talking. Now we're talking. To bloom or not to bloom? Oh yeah, Cherim. I haven't run into Cherim yet. Drifloon thing is annoying. Craft a Pokeshi doll and show it to Anvin. Oh, I need like three pieces of wood for this, right? Speak with Yoda to learn more about his request. Okay, where are you at? To the left over here. You're here about my ponytail request, right? Glad to have some help at last. Here's the problem. A ponytail like no one's ever seen before has appeared on the horseshoe plains. It looks so different than the other ponytail. It's a little scary, to be honest. Ooh, is it shiny? Is it, like, blue? But when I told the professor, he got all excited about researching it, so he agreed to have the ponytail surveyed and see what's what. If you'd head to the horseshoe plains and catch that strange ponytail for us, it'd really help us out. Are we gonna go catch a shiny ponytail? That's cool. Obsidian field lands. Yeah, I can go back there. 
Do, do, do. Haven't run into Roselia yet. Ask Anise about the materials that are needed for medicine. Show Pokemon with which you have a strong enough bond to satisfy Bellamy. I'm working on that. Catch a male and female Hippopotas to show Ante. I've done this. So let's go show you. It's like no Ponyta anyone's seen before. I hope this different Ponyta is just like a Surviper or something. That would be hilarious, Shroom. Oh, you know what it could be? It could be the, um... Is it a Lolan? Is it a Lolan Ponyta that's the, uh, like, fairy one? Maybe that's in the game. I have some new styles in stock. Feel free to have a look. What can I help you with, hon? Yeah, about your request. Could you show me a male Hippopotas then? I sure could. Bam. Next, I'd like to see a female Hippopotas. There you go. Ah! I never thought just a change in color would lead to such a different impression for the same Pokemon. That's definitely inspired me. Give me just one moment. Please have a look at the newest entries to my shop's lineup. Inspiration from Hippopotas. How nice. What do you have? I'm like poor right now, but I want to look. I don't like the head kerchiefs. Nothing new there. Everyday kimonos. I wish that, like, the new ones were, like, at the top or something. Oh, pro maybe this, like, earth kimono is new? These patterned kimono are pretty cool. I like these fancy ones a lot. Might try those out sometime. Alright, this takes, like, too long to go through. <laughs> yeah, I'm done shopping for now. Maybe some other time. I need to sell all the Stardust that I got. Is it still night? Maybe it was evening earlier? Or maybe before it becomes... Like, I mean, evening and night are different, obviously. Evening before night. But normally when I think evening, I think it's dark out. But maybe by evening it means just before it gets dark out? I don't know. We'll worry about it later. I have a nugget to sell. The Ponyta. Oh yeah, I caught the Chimchar. I just have to show it to you now. Where are you at? Right over there. I hit B to run again. Classic me. Hello. Come show me once you've caught it, okay? Waka won't have a choice but to believe me when he sees the will of the wisp glowing in the dark right before his eyes. Ooh, I just realized something. I was supposed to, uh, show you the Chimchar before it evolved. <laughs> We're gonna have to find and catch a Chimchar in the wild to be able to do this quest now, I think. <laughs> Well, you know, these things, they happen. You would think that they would uh, realize, like, oh, what if the player evolves the Chimchar that evolves at level 14 and make it where Monferno would work just as well? But uh, I guess that's asking too much of Game Freak to think ahead. Gather the Wisps. I'm working on it. Try to sweeten up the gift so we might sell wares to the general store. We need hearty grains. Right, those are in the new area we're looking around at, but I think I only picked up, like, one. All right, let's talk to you over this way. Let me in. Hello. Ah, oh, hello, dearie. Shinon sent you out searching for a medicinal plant, did she? That'll be our three-leaved little helper then. Shinon doesn't know this, but it's actually a Pokemon that lives in the Crimson Mirelands. Poor Shinon will get quite a shock if she finds out, so bring it back to me instead, would you? Best of luck on your search, Yuri. It's a Pokemon? The Pokemon with three leaves? Are the three leaves like the front of Badoo right here? This isn't the Pokemon we need. Crimson Mirelands, three leaves. Three leaves atop its head? Three leaves atop its head? 
Burmy has a lot of leaves atop its head. I don't know what Pokemon they're talking about off the top of my head. We'll have to find it. Turtwig has two le uh, two leaves on top of its head. I'm trying to think of a Sinomon that would have three leaves on its head. It might be a Kanto Pokemon, though. Oh, Oddish. It's going to be Oddish. Oddish has three leaves. Although it's like... It's not really leaves, it's grass, but whatever you say, game. I'm heading outside the village. I want to go see what this Ponyta is about. I think I just went to the further away camp by mistake, but it's fun. I bet it's Magmortar. Of course! Magmortar loves putting exactly three leaves atop its head. That's what Magmortar is all about. I have no idea what these lost satchels are about. Andy is awful about keeping his satchels. Max's lost satchel is right over here to the right. But let's go find out then. What's this about? What's with all these lost satchels? It's like right here. It's a Stantler. I think I need to either defeat or catch more of you, because I'm pretty sure I've only caught one of you before. Nailed it. Right in the back of the head. Nice. New move on Vespaquin? That's not what I meant to do. What did you learn? Ooh, Air Slash, now we're talking. Right as I'm like, hey, I should probably switch out the Vespaquin for something else. It gets one of the, like, the best moves in the game. Ain't that just how it always goes? Ba -da -ba -ba. Give me the friendship. Ooh, can't evolve through friendship? Okay. We need it to be daytime, though. All right, so now we'll focus on Benary. Oh, no, there's Stantler. I need to catch another one of you. I probably need to catch some of these Zubat, or Golbat even. Are you sleeping, idiot? Imagine sleeping in this economy. Nice. Benary, you just leveled up. You still can't evolve. Benary, beat up that Stantler. I caught it unawares. Oh, that's right, I have all these new moves. Punch. Looking for a mon with three leaves on its head? It's time for the Koroks again? Absolutely not. Never. 